Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. And please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Okay, so today I will be using the absolute holy trinity of eyeshadows. I will be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood Palette, as well as the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Breaker Palette to create this beautiful intergalactic look, I call it. I absolutely love the way this look turned out. Because it's fall, I've been really veering away from color and doing more neutral tones, and I've honestly been really bored and unhappy with it. So I'm so happy to jump into something that's just super bright and vivacious and yeah guys if you want to see a tutorial on this look then please keep watching okay guys let's jump right into the tutorial so we're gonna start with this gorgeous angel baby the jawbreaker palette and the main shades that we're using in this palette are gumdrop as well as a teensy tiny bit of bubble gum okay so we're gonna start with this gumdrop shade here and what I'm gonna do is run this through the crease as well as concentrate on the corner of the eye so we start to uh, build a little bit of a deeper corner there. So I'm taking my Smith 232 and I'm just going to dip right in, first patting it down and then slowly moving it into rocking motions as well as circular and just load up your brush as much as you need. So I know I look a little crazy right now. I put a little extra setting powder underneath here because I find I have mentioned in several of my videos but these palettes tend to have a good amount of fallout. So I didn't want to create, because the rest of my face is done. By the way, if you want the details on my makeup and what's on my face, everything is always listed in the description box. So you can take a look and figure out and find whatever you need. So yes, we're gonna continue to build this up into the crease. I'm so, so happy with the way this look turned out. I never would have thought to put blue and purple together in this way, like cut the crease and do it, but it ended up looking so nice. I love it. I love the way the it makes the sparkle look, I don't know, just super pretty. So we're just continuing to build this gumdrop shade here in the crease. And then when the majority of the uh, shadow is no longer on the brush, that's when we're gonna start to brush it into the inner corner here. So if I didn't mention, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer on. I've really, really, really been loving this primer. If you guys have been considering giving it a shot, I say go for it. So once we're about here with that gumdrop shade, what we're gonna do is go, we're gonna dot back and forth between bubble gum and gumdrop. And what that's gonna do is help us build, like if you can tell on this eye, there's like a, a little bit of that pink on the top that I think just helps make everything blend together really nice. So we're just gonna do that here. Start in the corner, just like with the other shade, and slowly brush it inward. It really helps me when I tilt my head to the side here, because then I can get right in there. Okay, so once we're here with that, I'm gonna add even more of the bubble gum. I'm gonna switch to my Wayne Goss 19, which is a smaller blender. And I'm very lightly going to just run that on the top of everything. Okay, so once we're about here, we're gonna dip now in with Mini Breaker. I love this guy. Like, what a fun pop of color to have in your collection. So happy I have it. So I'm switching to a smaller blender brush. This is a Wayne Goss 17. And I'm gonna dip into this shade here for play. It's a beautiful pinkish, purplish, I don't even know what it is. I love it so much. What I'm doing is going a little bit lower than where we put that gumdrop shade. And I'm beginning to deepen the crease with this color. And I am just patting it on to the corner. And then when I feel the majority of the pigment is on there, I start to move it in rocking motions as well as circular. Okay, so once we've sufficiently blended that color in, what we're gonna do is go into the deeper purple, and that is the purple punch here in the middle. I love, love, love this purple. I've worked with a lot of purples. I love the pigmentation of this. I never find it's patchy. Super fun and easy to work with. So I love that. So I'm using my Wayne Goss 19, and what I'm gonna do is further deepen that crease. So I'm gonna dot it in the corner. And just like I did the other shades, I'm gonna run it right through. First using rocking motions, and then we're gonna use circular to make sure that's nice and blended. Okay. 
Okay, so once we've laid that shade down, we're gonna go even deeper and we're gonna dip back into the Jawbreaker palette. It's not necessarily deeper, it just adds a really, really nice depth that adds gradient as well. We're going in with this gorgeous bright royal blue or like neon blue, I don't even know. It's the shade Soaked here, it's absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is dip in with a smaller brush again, I'm gonna switch back to that Wayne Goss 19, and I'm going to dip my brush in and focus this again really right in the corner and then in the crease, but keep it lower than where we've placed the other colors. And I know this is the type of look that looks absolutely nuts while you're doing it, and it looks like you've completely messed up your whole look but i promise when everything's said and done it looks so good so before we move on to cutting the crease i'm going to go back in with that smith 232 i'm going to go in with some of that bubble gum sheet and just lightly go over the top of everything just so that we make sure everything is nice and blended and ready for that cut crease Okay, now the fun part, we're going to cut the crease, and because I really want the blue to stand out, today I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this is in stark white, so it's just a white concealer. I'm going to take my MAC 242, I'm going to dip it into the concealer that I've laid out here, and I'm going to draw one line down, one swoop down if you will, look up, see where that imprints, and continue drawing. Okay, so once you've got the concealer to where you want it to be in terms of the cut, what we're gonna do now is go into this gorgeous angel that I don't get to use as much as I'd like to. I mean, I knew that when I was gonna purchase it that it was gonna be a palette you really don't use that often. I mean, how often am I gonna smear a blue on my eye and go out of the house? Not really that often, but I absolutely love this. And one of the main reasons I bought this palette is I adore this ice tray color here. And that's what we're gonna be putting onto the lid where we've just put down the concealer. So what I'm gonna do is load that onto my finger and then pat on the majority, but I don't go right into the edges because I find that it's uh, obviously my finger leaves it way too messy. So for that, we're gonna dip back in with the 242 and just make sure we get all of the edges nice and clean laid with this beautiful ice tray color. And if you'll notice, I am getting a good amount of fallout which I was expecting, which is why I'm happy to lay down that translucent powder. And I highly suggest you do the same when you use these colorful palettes, because they're beautiful, but they do have fallout. Okay, now that we've placed the shimmer down, what we're gonna do is go in with this Wayne Goss 17 that we were using earlier. We're gonna take this four play shade that we were using before, and we're gonna lightly stamp it on where the matte and the shimmer meet so that we can begin to meld them together. Okay, once those are melded together, what we're gonna do is dip back into Jawbreaker. I know we're switching so many palettes, but we're gonna dip back into Jawbreaker. We're gonna go into this beautiful blue shade again, Soaked. And this time I'm gonna take a MAC 239 Packer brush. I'm going to very lightly just pack it on these ends here, and that's where our depth is coming from. So we're going to just pack that on. And just to help blend it, I'm gonna go back into that purple punch and just, you know, kind of zhuzh it, make sure that blue and that purple really blend together. Okay, so once we're here is my favorite part. We're gonna add some sparkle. So for that, I did cheat a little. So this is not a Jeffree Star Cosmetics product, but it's honestly so beautiful that I had to use it. This is in my Natasha Denona palette. So this is, I have no idea what the name is because I ripped that name thingy out, but this is like a crystal topper. It's this white shade here that doesn't look like much, but honestly, when you put it on top of different shadows, it truly transforms them into something so beautiful. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to with our finger just pat this on and we're centering it on where the bright blue is more like you bring it a bit that way but we want mostly where the bright blue is okay now once that's laid on you're gonna want to go in with a clean brush like any brush really and we're just going to make sure the sparkle isn't anywhere we don't want it to be and then grand finale we're gonna go in with this gorgeous 
Stila Glitter and Glow. This is called Wanderlust. This is absolutely beautiful. I actually watched both Kathleen Lights and Raw Beauty Christie use it, and that's why I purchased it, and I'm so, so happy that I did. It's absolutely beautiful. So what I'm doing is I'm not actually applying it with the wand. I'm putting it on the back of my palm here. Then I'm going to stamp it over top of everything with my finger. And we're just getting that beautiful 3D, I don't know, it makes everything pop. I absolutely love it. That's pretty much it for the upper eyes. What I'm gonna do is hop off camera, quickly draw a black winged line. And for that, I'm using the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Liner. That's what I use every single time. It's my absolute go-to. And then I'm gonna pop on some lashes. And today I'm wearing Sydney Lily Lashes. And I'll be right back to do the lower lash line with you guys. Okay guys, I did put on my liner and my lashes. So now we're gonna work on the lower lash line and we're gonna keep it sweet and simple for the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab my MAC 212 and dip into this shade for play here. And what I'm gonna do, this is just a flat brush. I'm gonna go really, really close into this corner. Just like that. And just kind of stamp that there. And then what I'm gonna do is wipe that off and go in with Purple Punch, that middle beautiful shade here. And we're gonna go kind of over top of that. And then we're gonna dip into Jawbreaker and take a small smudger brush or a brush that I use for smudging. And that is a Wayne Goss 20. We're gonna dip into this lavender gumdrop shade here. And we're going to smoke her out. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for the lower lash line. I'm going to quickly put on some mascara, uh, put some liner in my inner rim, and for that, as per always, I'm using my Rue Bonaparte NARS liner, and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I love the way these colors work together and the vibrancy. I just absolutely love it. What do you guys think of it? Let me know down below. I would love to hear from you. I love doing tutorials for you guys. And let me know, like, I've lately been straying away from color and been really focusing on doing more neutral looks that are wearable for fall. But I'm just not having as much fun and I don't think that the product looks as nice. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Do you like when I do colorful tutorials or do you like when I do more wearable? Please let me know. I love to hear back from you guys. It's like honestly top five favorite things. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like. Please don't forget to comment. And please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out when you guys subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys.